Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video. This video is about uh, me and TaskRabbit. I'm formally aboard now and I got my first official task yesterday afternoon. I'm happy about it. I made some pretty decent money for piece of cake work. Very simple work. But before I talk more about the task, I'm going to just rewind it back a couple weeks about TaskRabbit, me and TaskRabbit. So I signed up finally after thinking a lot about it and paying the registration fee and all that. So I signed up. I did my profile, I paid my $20 registration fee, which is the background check and all that. Uh, I did their quizzes, and their, I watched a video series, which is an orientation. I got an invitation at the same time I was doing all that, the app to uh, get started. So of course I got, I passed, and uh, they said they would email me or let me know within a week whether I got brought aboard. A uh, week went on and then some more and even weeks and I didn't hear anything and I emailed them I didn't get a response and I emailed them again then finally someone said well they'll let their tech rep know what's going on and then I didn't hear anything back from the email and then about maybe a week later I got an email saying from task forever that I've been brought aboard and I also checked my app that I've been fully registered and anyone uh, I guess the clients, the clients can look me up in the in profile. They can look me up in the community, and my website was working because because before they gave me a unique URL, and it wasn't working. It was just taking me to a general page. I've had people tell me it's just taking me to a general task rabbit page, and I thought it was odd, but I wasn't sure what was going on at that time. I just wasn't officially registered yet. Um, I guess there were just some little minor hiccups I'm not upset about. I just kind of wish there was more communication, but that's fine. I'm happy. I'm aboard now. Uh, so anyways, going to the task uh, yesterday, I got an invitation. I had my invitation settings turned on. I got an invite to pick up a bag from a hotel and then drop it off to the client's house, <coughs> which was quite simple. The only thing was it was a little bit far. Uh, I made a mistake of not charging fuel uh, fuel charge. I call it fuel surcharge for myself. I should have, but I guess I got caught up in the excitement and I was kind of worn out because I had to drive through heat and I did drive far. So I guess I didn't, it just didn't click in. And I also kind of said to myself, just leave it at, do it as a courtesy this time, let it slide. And I guess it kind of worked out anyways because the client tipped me. So I guess it kind of worked itself out. But uh, going forward with that, when I do tasks like that, and most especially if it's far out the way, I'm going to definitely charge my $10, $15, $20 surcharge for fuel, which is actually a little less than fair because technically because I'm in a truck and the truck uses about 13 miles to the gallon city and then maybe 16 or 17 in the highway miles. So I think that's a little less than fair if you think about it, but I'm trying to be fair, more fair to them. But uh, I guess as my uh, score goes up, my reputation, whatever you want to call it, goes higher and higher. I'm definitely going to be charging higher fuel surcharges because that's just how it is. I mean, gas is not free. Gas luckily has gone down, but gas is still kind of up there. So anyways, I did my task, uh, successfully finished it. This week I'm going to be a little bit busy doing Amazon Flex. I'm still continuing to do that, but with TaskRabbit, I hope to get a few more tasks this week and definitely hope to get more and more over the next coming weeks. I think this is great. Um, I'm looking more forward to labor-intensive tasks. Um, I really want to help people set up aquariums and stuff, but then again, I don't know how many people ask to do that. Uh, maybe I might get lucky soon. I don't know. I I was really big in the aquarium hobby. I haven't done it in a while, but I know I can remember it like the back of my hand. Of course, I can help people with that. Well, freshwater only, of course. But anyway, so yeah, this is my profile, my rates. They're kind of low right now. Over time, as my reputation builds up, my score and my reviews go up, they're going to start going higher and higher. Not in crazy amounts, of course. It might be like little dollar amounts or little cents. It's probably, I think it goes by dollar. But over time, I'm going to start raising it up a dollar to every every so often and uh, like I mentioned with the task involving where I have to transport something or a person or items in my truck far away I'm definitely gonna have to charge fuel, fuel start charges and that will start to increase after a while too um, I might start it off as low after that when I do like two or three more tasks I might have a set pretty low but after that third one it's gonna go quite up 
So anyways, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll definitely try to answer them. I'm also going to leave my link here for anyone that's in the Houston area that's uh, interested in having me do a task for them. Um, you can always definitely, if you're a client and you have questions, you can definitely chat with me and see what we can do on your task. Anyways, I hope everyone is doing well. Take care and thanks for watching this video.